Flashback, Thiago Alcantara is here in FC24. He's actually quite well priced, 89, 88, and 86 rated squads. I really like his playstyle pluses as well. He's got a crazy, crazy card. Let's put him into a team and let's review him. For cheap, reliable, and fast FC24 coins for team of the season, make sure you go to lootbar.gg. Lootbar.gg currently offers you the 5% tax covered, a refund guarantee, 5% bonus for free, and bonuses on your coins. They also have a 24-7 customer support team, so if you are struggling, you will be able to get that sorted very quickly, as well as incredible reviews, so you know you can trust them. If you do want coins for team of the season, make sure to check out lootbar.gg and use code VIPER for 8% off all of your orders. The link to lootbar.gg is down in the description, so go and check it out. Okay, so here we go with Thiago's flashback 94 rated. First of all, five-star skill moves, always very, very nice to see. They could have given him a five-star weak foot as well, in my opinion, but still, it looks like a very, very tasty card. Five foot nine and high, high work rates with mostly explosive. As the accelerate type, he can only play center mid, but being Liverpool, Premier League, and Spain, his links are very, very good. In terms of play styles, really, really like his play styles. Incisive pass plus is actually growing on me at the moment. I don't think it's actually that bad. Ping pass, good to see. Tiki tacker, good to see. Slide tackle, bruiser, mare. Intercept, very nice to see as well. Flare is good. First touch is good. Technical plus, of course, is awesome. And Trevella plus on a midfielder like this, I actually don't think is too bad. I would have much preferred him to have Trevella Silva and like first touch plus, for example. Maybe they should have given that to him, but still, I do think his play styles are very, very good. It's just going to depend on how good his actual in-games are, you know, because the pace looks good, the shooting looks good, the passing looks good, and so does the dribble and the defending. The physical is what it is. You know, he's a box-to-box -box midfielder. As we go into the in-games, okay. Okay. Good card, man. Very, very good-looking card. 91 acceleration and 86 sprint speed is okay. Shooting-wise, very, very decent. Good attack position and finishing for a midfielder. Great shot power and long shots. Okay volleys and penalties, but we don't really care about them. As we move on to the passing, vision's a little bit low, but it's still good. 86 crossing, 98 short pass, 96 long pass, and 92 curve. He's then got 97 agility and 96 balance. We have 90 reactions, a little bit on the low side there. 97 ball control and 96 dribbling, and also composure as well. Then we've got really, really, really interesting defensive and physical stats. 98 inceptions, 84 defensive awareness, 90 stand tackle and slide tackle. The defending's actually quite good. He's then got 88 jumping, which isn't bad. 70 head and accuracy, you know, that's what's kind of bringing down the defending. If he didn't have 70 at head and accuracy, he'd probably have like 93 or 94 defending. 90 stamina's good. You know, he doesn't have relentless, so 90 stamina is quite crucial for this card. 80 strength is okay, but 99 aggression is very, very nice to see. In terms of a chem style, the obvious one is probably a shadow, isn't it? And I think I am going to go for the shadow. I had a look there and I considered the basic, but I think the shadow to boost up the pace, 99 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. So getting more like 94, 95 pace here. Getting 99 inceptions, 88 defensive awareness, 98 stand tackle and 99 slide tackle. I think is a very, very good boost to this card in terms of where we're going to be playing him it's going to be a 4-3-2-1 he's going to get forward let's get into a few games and see what he can do guys archibald versus vipalization here let's see what we are up against van der Sar on loan wow he's a united fan quite evidently but that's actually not a bad team he's got that fernandez at left back as well fair play to him i don't know why he's got his loans in there though it's a bit strange isn't it that is a bit strange anyway let's get into this game let's test out tiago alcantara what a name he's got to say as well, by the way. Let's just see what this car can do, man. Because I I feel like it's really well-priced. And based off that, that could potentially mean he's not very good. There he is, straight away. Yep, nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh guys. Oh, what is that? That is so annoying when that kind of stuff happens. I did not want the Trevella there. Got to be careful of that, evidently. But, technical dribbling... Feels really, really nice on this card. Good strength there as well. And a good out ball. You know, back into him here as well. He's got a bit of space and a bit of time. There you go. Lovely play. And there is Fede Valverde. A bit unlucky there. The five-star skills, actually, guys, in the midfield is quite underrated. So I'm, I'm very... Oh, yes, please. The dribbling, guys, and the skill moves feel insane on this card already. 
Yes, please. Oh. Okay, so great technical dribbling is the early thoughts. Very, very sharp, uh, responsive skill moves. Okay, pal. Here's again. That's poor from him. I tried to sprint boost there, but he doesn't really have that in his locker, um, sadly. This guy's good, though, man. This guy I'm playing here is actually quite decent. Oof, dangerous pass. Thiago, with the first touch silver as well, you've got to remember, allows him to really go. Is he offside? Wow, this guy's playing a high line. Okay. I should have checked the map there, really, shouldn't I? Of course, it's not just about what he can do going forward. It's also about his uh, defensive qualities as well. What I do like about this card, though, guys, which I haven't even mentioned, I didn't even mention at the start of the video, is that he's got Tiki Taka Silva. And, and in my opinion, Tiki Taka, uh, just in general, is one of the best play styles on the game. Great dribbling again there. Bad pass, though, again. God damn, man. I, I was expecting that to be a good pass because he's got the Tiki Taka. So, something don't feel right about the card. But also, at the same time, it's early doors, isn't it? So, let's not be ridiculous. Good old one dribbling again. I'm going to try and drive into that space there. Nice. Okay. There it is. Good ball as well. Now, incisive pass might be a bit of a, a problem for some people. Because it's not that good. As we get a rage quit, let's get into another game. Okay, guys. Game number two now coming up with Thiago. That first game... Oh... There was just something off about him, right? You know, he, he does feel good. I, I Probably is because he's got incisive plus. You know, as I say, I, I'm growing on that a little bit. But still, it's not really the best thing in the world. Oh, we've got a score there. That was good from Thiago there, though, wasn't it? He uh, he actually won the ball back for us. Where does he sit here? Is he, is he back here, is he? He is. I want to try a pop volley with him, if I can. Ooh. What I will say is his technical dribbling is <laughs> a bit stupid, man. He's a little bit stupid. Oh, dear. Bad from me. Is that a foul? No, it's not. Nice. Here is Thiago then. Oh, I thought Kaka was making the run for me. And he wasn't. That's actually quite a good comparison or interesting to kind of think about is him and Renato Sanchez. You know, I, I feel like this Thiago is a little bit cheaper than Renato. But in my opinion, and it's actually, from what I understand, quite an unpopular opinion now. Because I think that Renato is one of the best players on the game uh, for a midfielder. Okay. I, I, I do really like his technical dribbling. He's a little bit slow, though. Even considering the fact, you know, we've got him on the shadow. He doesn't feel, like, ridiculously fast. It's probably because I'm so used to using players that have at least quick step or rapid silver. So this is becoming a bit of a an issue because I'm so used to that now. His dribbling is crazy, though, guys. His dribbling is absolutely crazy. If you value that, guys, you will really like this card. You know, being able to kind of drive through a midfield just using the technical dribbling is something that I probably don't use enough. But you can certainly feel how good it is on this card. I'm going to go for this as well. Yeah, nice, good ball. I'll have to wait for Thiago here, though, because we've got no other options. There is the option. Bad pass, so I can, I can never, ever, ever, ever get incisive to work how I want it to. I know it's kind of got to be on the shoulder on, on someone that's on getting behind, but for me, it never really works as intended. Not that a lot does for me, eh, does it? But good turn. Go back again. That's it. Good pass as well. It, th th this is a card that you complete and you utilize just to kind of get that little bit of space. And if you like that and you value that, you will like this card. He is good, man. He feels very, very different to your... Your standard midfielder. And he's he's not really a player that I would ever play at Cam. Even though he's kind of got the stats too. I feel like using this card in your your 4 3 2 one, Or even as a CDM in a 4 3 or 4 2 3 one, He would still be really, really good. You know, you kind of need to use him in an attacking sense though. Once again, it's one of them cards that, you know, he's a lot better at attacking than he is defending. He's not been bad defensively though either. It's probably worth mentioning. Yeah, his dribbling is... Uh, is redonkulous. Wow. I mean, that dribbling is just crazy. And that pass as well. Wasn't half bad either, was it? That wasn't half bad. He does feel quite fast, actually, out of possession. It's probably because he's such a technical dribbler that he doesn't feel that fast in possession. My God. Oh, his R1 dribbling. It's a bit busted here, but... 
Yeah, his R1 dribbling his levels. Fair enough. No way that goes in. Uh, he doesn't have good finesse shots. Okay, guys, my review is in on Tiago's 94 rated flashback. This card is very, very interesting. You know, you can compare this man to a lot of other midfielders on the game. You know, for example, I've got Jamal Musiala. I actually think they're very, 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 very similar. And as we compare them here, so Tiago's got a lot less pace, as you can see there. Tiago's got two more shooting, four more passing, which is quite mad. Only three less dribbling and a lot more defending and physical. And as you go to the play styles, there is an argument to be made that Thiago's got better play styles. Um, you know, he's got better defensive qualities anyway. Tiki Taka is one of the best play styles on, on the game, in my opinion. So you've got that right there. And then you've also got this Renato Sanchez. And this Renato Sanchez, as I said in the gameplay, is one of my favourite midfielders on the game. Renato's quicker, has more shooting, which is actually quite crazy. Thiago has four more passing, two more dribbling, same defending, and Renato destroys him on physical. Now, what I would say is Renato's more of a box-to-box -box slash stay while attacking option. It doesn't have to be played like that, but that's where I think he's a little bit better. Um, Thiago is a bit more of an advancing midfielder, right? So it's very important that you get into the, the kind of nooks and crannies and he can kind of bob and weave through them and then find a really good pass with the through ball or the tiki taka passing, which are insane, or a ping pass. I also think, probably, which is quite mad to say, this Renato offers a bit more in other positions, like right back and left back. I don't think you could really play Thiago down there. Doesn't have the worst pace in the world, but you know, in possession, he feels relatively slow. Out of possession, he's quite fast. So there's a lot of options with this card. Shooting, very, very decent. We just talked about the pace there as well. His shooting is decent. Not absolutely otherworldly. I think it's probably on a par with Renato Sanchez. I think his passing is a little bit better than Renato Sanchez. You know, he offers a little bit more. He's got a bit more um, ability to be unique because he's got Tiki Taka pinged and incisive plus. Dribbling wise is where you want this card, man. Dribbling feels better than Renato Sanchez. His technical dribbling feels better than Renato Sanchez. You know, he, he is a very elegant player. That's the way I would kind of describe him. It's, it's just elegant. And of course... He's very elegant in real life as well, whenever he does play, which isn't very often anymore, sadly. Um, but yeah, he just kind of glides, and you don't really need the pace for that. It's just about getting the ball with him. You know, you get the first touch silver, and then you can kind of spin and do the technical dribbling, look for a good pass, look for an over the top, or whatever you really want to do, he's able to do it. The intercept's quite crucial as well for him defensively. From what I found, he wasn't bad defensively, and he certainly wasn't weak either, which is, once again, another positive, in my opinion. I like this card a lot. I think he's well priced. Probably like 7 out of 10 for value. For the quality of the card, I'm going to go for a 9.2 out of 10. I think he's a decent card and very well priced. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to play review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.